thanks so much. 6.13 is your time now. And today is International Day of the World's Indigenous People. And our local university is focusing on inclusion. 17's Alia Fitzgerald is in studio this morning with more. Alia, good morning. Good morning, Alex. California State University Bakersfield has a student coalition devoted to a group of people lots are often misconstrued about. There are tribes that have shaped the soil surrounding us and have enriched the nation with their culture. Today is International Day of the World's Indigenous Peoples Day. The tribes of the Chumash Indians, Shoshonean, and Yokus were tribes that were originally residents across San Joaquin Valley. However, misconceptions often surround what an indigenous person might look like. Through Hollywood renditions and other misleading images, many people don't understand that indigenous people are still among us and even in Kern County. Kaylee Brown Soren is a digital content producer at KGET 17 and has seen these situations happen firsthand. She was a part of California State University Bakersfield's first ever Native and Indigenous commencement ceremony after being a part of the coalition. In April of 2022, um, it was started by David Silva, who is the founder and was the president of the club before he graduated in 2023. We brought events to CSUB, um, like the Indigenous Peoples Day celebration in October, and uh, we also helped create the very first Native and Indigenous graduation ceremony this past spring that I had the privilege of being a part of as well. When she was younger, Kaylee was told by her peers not to pursue her tribe. This is something that lots of younger indigenous people often see regarding their cultures. CSUB's Native and Indigenous Student Coalition gave students a voice and perhaps other California State Universities will follow suit. Obviously we're not extinct, um, we're very much here and we have a lot of issues facing our community at the moment. We have missing and murdered indigenous women, we have uh, pipelines that are being built on indigenous reservations without our tribe's consent. So I encourage everyone to do more research on native movements within the country, within the continent, within the world even. Though the day's theme might change for this day annually, the date does not change and is celebrated each year on August 9th. In studio, Aliyah Fitzgerald, 17 News. All right,